popular home video games. The only space invaders. The only asteroids. The only Pac-Man. The only missile command. And soon, the only defender. And the only way you can play any of them is on a home video system made by Atari. What is up, my friend? Friends, I know it's eh, it's been a week since I uploaded the video, but we're gonna upload a video. It's called the Atari Flashback Six. Now, if you do know what Atari Flashback Six is, it is a console that was made last year, two thousand fifteen, by Atari and At Games. I remember getting this on December twenty fourth of Christmas Eve. So, let's pop this on, and we'll show you the amazing Atari fans. Show my Wii U. And hold on, you missed the tile screen. Yeah, look at that tile screen. Now we're gonna show you some video games. I may not show all the games, but let's see if I can try. Try. I may not promise, but let's try with um the most classic game that my mom used to play. Yeah, my mom grew up at the Atari Atari age during the seventies and eighties, especially the crash of nineteen eighty three, with Batman at ET has the worst Atari games. So let's go with Asteroids. There, there it is, Asteroids. I'm going to shut the lights off, and you can see the Atari. Now, if you watch um, um, some videos, you may look like this looks like a great screen. I'm going to try to play it with one hand. There it is, my spaders. I played this game before on Christmas Eve. This was one heck of a game. I can tell you that already. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, I died. It's hard playing Asteroids with just one hand on a good 1981 video game industry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, good. We're doing good right here. Oh, there's a little thingy. It's called a little spaceship. If you um shoot it, you you get uh, um bonus points. Yeah, so <laughs> that's um hold up. That's E.T. I mean not E.T. Asteroids. Sorry for the misleading. Um, let's show them um, another game. Um, let's see. Um, Aerial Blast. Yeah, Aerial Blast. Also, want to mention that this um, when this console came out, it also has some little hack games, misleading years. So I'm gonna only do right here. Here we go, a space. Uh, Aerial Blast. I'm not so good at this game because I keep dying um, randomly in different places. I don't know what's wrong in this game. I find it to be a bit hard for my age. Speaking of, let's go with um, another one. Let's try. Uh, no, not not video pin. Hold up, up here. Uh, there, uh, there we go. Air Riders. Yeah, who remembers Air Riders on back in the day when Atari 2600 was around? Alright, so let's see if I can try to play this game. So, here we go. We're going to go fly, fly in our airplane. This is kind of like uh, like a lot of people fly like back in the day. But yeah, especially those um, terrible plane crashes. Now, I'm not referencing to the bad crashes. You can even shoot. I, I love shooting stuff. Shooting stuff. Uh, so, yeah. I love it. So, yeah. Look at me. I'm, try I'm trying to shoot someone. Yeah, but it's hard trying to control a plane with one hand. Like I said, uh, with asteroids, I can't seem to shoot with one hand. <laughs> so, anyway, let's show them another game. Uh, let me get close to the television. Yeah, I'm using a Panasonic television. If we had like an RCA television, uh, that could be good. Here we have basketball. We'll show you some basketball. This is a two-player game. So, um, hold up. Um, let me turn the, the light on so you guys can see. In this one, we have the power, the start, the difficulties, and then we have select. We're going to press 2. Shut the light off. Did I also mention that this um this is a wireless controller, and the best part about it, with this um classic, you got like um two AV backs um for the Atari 
Like, if you have real Atari 2600 controllers, you could hook these up and you could play video games, like, like basketball. Yeah, look, oh, look at that. It kind of reminds me of, um, what many people like, uh, the Red Bulls when Michael Jordan won, um, in 1996. Yeah, uh, for people who like Michael Jordan, I like him too. Okay, so, let's start off. I'm going to try to play basketball, but I'm not going to do so great. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm going to try, I'm going to try to hit it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, nuts. Oh, my God. I just got... I lost two points. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm making videos on Atari, it's really hard. Hard. And here's a little fun fact. The Atari 2600 um, was the second console to come out at the Magnavox Odyssey when it came out in the year 1977. I'm going to show you a final game. In the final game. Okay. Let's see, what game should I show all of you? How about a classic game called Pog? Yeah, Pog. Now, if you don't know what Pog is, it was an arcade. It was in an arcade in 1972, Atari's first arcade game before coming out to the Atari 2600 during 1977-1978. I played this game before. Sometimes I want to so lose. So yeah, this is Pog. I'm sure all of you may remember Atari. So anyway, that's got to wrap up on my Atari Flash Bros. 6. Now today's question, uh, what year did you get your own Atari 2000 or Atari Flash Bros. 6? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share friends. And I'll see you soon for another video. Take care and have a great day.